Radiant Team Bat. <laughs> VG Gaming's turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <laughs> Radiant Terror Blade. Vici Gaming's turn to pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Elder Titan. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VG Gaming versus VG Gaming Reborn. Pick. I'm Odie Pixel John by Lumi. This is game three. The deciding matchup, the loser goes home. The winner will move forward to face E Home in the best of five grand finals, and the draft is underway. Nothing, nothing too different uh, this time, uh, Lumi, but one of the things I want to note that, uh, yeah, Terrible got through the draft this time. Uh, yeah. That's going to be scary. And it's going to be a end Terrible. Silo generally is the Terrible player between the two, but uh, I suppose it's not a too difficult hero to play. <laughs> kind of just pop your own hit And a hit tower. It's absolutely yeah. eight click down the lane in your Gucci, all the way straight to TI Finals. That's absolutely all they need <laughs> to do. That's yeah. pretty much. So, summary pick Terrible. Uh, a little bit of synopsis footnote is that Terrible, you, you do want to make that level six gank. I, I think you were mentioning earlier, we do see more and more carries making that early rotation. Well, Terrible is one of the best heroes in doing so. You pop the meta, you get the kill, and you get the push. Great combo. You do indeed. And uh, then gets a bat rider. Second pick for VG Game with Reborn. Okay. No. You snap that, you s you got the disruptor that could snap your lasso though, so gotta be aware of that. That's true, yeah, they've already got one way of dealing with the bat. Yeah, that's, that's for certain. Uh, I mean, also, uh, I guess Elder Sun's kind of handy against the bat, using the spirit for vision so you can see where the bat's hiding in the tree line. And also for, you know, there's a huge area of stomp, so making it a little bit hard for the bat to get in and get back out. Reserve time. I'll see how that works for Ricky Bam. <clears throat> yeah, VG Gaming. I do want to talk about the Elder Titan Disruptor combo a yeah. little bit. Uh, I think this is the third time we've seen it in this series. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, second. it seems that teams have got through these two most. Yeah, I think yeah. That's, uh, that has been how it's gone down, yeah. I mean, obviously, both of these have uh, a lot of AoE Wombo combo. They uh, do. Uh, they not, uh, personally, I don't really like the two paired together, is that you're really relying on that Wombo combo. Because, you just, like, in the laning stage, what do you do? They don't have a really good gank. They can kind of roam around and kind of harass a bit, but they never actually is very good at forcing kills. So I think we've seen it throughout all three games that one team just kind of sits around the jungle, rotate here and there, and the other team, they could get away with more in terms of the laning stage. With that said though, once they do leave the laning stage, then they're kind of a, a powerhouse. So I wonder if Vichy Gaming could take advantage of Vichy, well, Vichy Reborn could take advantage of Vichy Gaming's two support. And kind of uh, play something sneaky. Other Titan, however, can be played as an off lane as well, so we're not locked into the support role just yet. No, we aren't yet. There, there, there certainly is, yes. We've seen from this series, uh, as you know, recently particularly, yeah, you can indeed run them in both places in this current meta. But fourth ban for VG Gaming, still looking towards VG Gaming Reborn's uh, tendencies here to, to pick up two more supports and that mid laner. We'll see who they do fear the most this game. Taking a bit of time with this one down into reserve. Obviously, very important game. A lot, a lot of thought being put into here. You, you can't mess up this draft. All or nothing for both sides at this stage of the tournament to qualify. I'm pretty sure the other Titan is a, a support. Because ROTK yep. have never really played them. I guess that's true. I guess it was, it was Yang, wasn't it? So we've seen, yeah. yeah. The, the flexibility being shown by Reborn and not actually each game themselves. Broom of the band. Okay. You don't want to get spotted this game. I guess Broom over itself. Uh, you know, it, it can punish Disruptor and Elder Titan supports in the lane. Yeah, and more importantly, Yang has played it, I think, once or twice in this qualifier, and he's oh, been yeah, quite yeah. good he on has, it. Yeah, he's the 8.5k brood. You're yeah. right, yeah. Yang brood is yeah definitely something you need to be scared of. 
and Disruptor and Outer Titans yes. are terrible. Oh, it looks like he will oh, play. He's, yeah, he's going to be Outer Titan. Okay, we'll All see. All right. Yeah. We'll see how Taking a page out of Yang's book. Yeah. Yeah, this is, yeah, indeed. This is interesting that they, yeah, they themselves switching it up. And uh, I guess just not revealing too much of each game. And of course, it's, it's just very nice, you know. It's because Reborn, I guess they thought, well, BG Game has got the two supports. No chance of Venge. We can pick the bat. Now, BG Game said, all right, no, we'll switch it around. We still want to get the Venge counter. And, sure. And they do get it. I mean, I keep saying that ROTK only plays five heroes, but the other day he picked an Omni Knight offlane. You know, he, he showed it. But he did lose with it. <laughs> he did lose with it. Uh, well, he's going to hopefully win with the Elder Titan now here. I mean, there's no chance that we switch uh, back into an era where we're seeing carry Avenge. Is there from Vichy Gaming? Is that I don't think any... from Silar. You wouldn't see that from Silar. Yeah, probably not from Silar. Okay. Well, we are going to see an FY Lion, and this yep. man, very good at farming that fast blink. I imagine we're going to see the one-two punch. Batrider Lasso, immediate blink, uh, and the finger probably from, from the Lion. The question is whether this bat is going to be off lane or mid. No. That's true. Actually, yeah, Mikasa bat is very good, yeah. It's, you know, traditionally it's yeah. run as a mid and an off lane, and lately it's been more off lane, but just yesterday we saw forward 30 and Ferrari playing at bat mid. Yeah, I, I guess it might depend on uh, the matchup, what Vichy Gaming and themselves pick up. Sure. Reborn might want to, you know, try and have that flexibility so they can change up their decision. Because, yeah, they're definitely not tied into to any kind of lane composition yet. They can, they can react to what Vichy Gaming bring in here. Huh? I'm just curious to see exactly what our win rate is for Mr. Terrorblade. What well, overall, or, or just for this team, or do you mean the qualifiers? As I'm well? gonna just check China. I, okay. I think it actually might it's be It's gotta higher. be high. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's like over 70%. Definitely. Ten we saw this before. I can't remember which team did it, but the picket picked up the Spectre against the Terrorblade. CTY Spectre. They played it yesterday. I don't think you were casting. It was me and Andy casting it. Wait, was CTY Spectre? Yeah, Andy Andy flipped. So what, they put um, Siler in the mid lane? Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. Why, well, is CTY just the better Spectre player, or was it because of the mid hero? Yeah, I think they, they kind of swap. I think Dragonite was the other hero. Okay. And generally you when they Siler pick... Yeah, generally when they get the... Uh, I guess CTY doesn't like playing DK. But Andy spent the rest of the day complaining how he doesn't like CTY Spectre play. So I don't, I don't know if that tells you anything. But because of the build, or? Yeah, he, it's like a, kind of one of the 80 minute game where everything was, you know, Rapier was dropping, people were going seven, six slots, and <laughs> it was a crazy game, and there was a move where he sold his Refresher Orb to oh, buy a Divine. He sold his Refresher oh, Yeah, wow. yeah, so, and he was not a big fan, to say the least. Well, fourth pick here for VG Game and Reborn. VG Game and they certainly showed their hand here for the Spectre. Still themselves just looking for that final mid here at VG Gaming. Reborn themselves. As we said, they've got that mid to offlane flexibility with the Batrider. Apparently, Terrorblade is 60% uh, win rate in China. Okay, okay. They're, they're, Not that high. Really, I think that, yeah, definitely higher in other regions, I want to say. That's still pretty good. I'll take a 60 percenter. Okay, so the way that Vichy defeated Terrorblade via the Spectre is they basically drew out the team fight, and we we're gonna get like a long 20 second team fight where Terrorblade has used all his BKB, they've used the Thunder, yeah, and then and then you the beast just gets surrounded, and then they, he he just gets killed. So Vichy Reborn, I see, have watched the tape on that game, and and now would know how Vichy regular will expect to deal with the Terrorblade. We'll see if it's gonna be successful here. Hmm. Who'd you ban from, from VG Gaming? They still need their mid here. Who are you worried about with the Spectre? Well, yes, I they mean, are you worried DK, about the DK? DK yeah. Spectre. Do, do you think you ban the DK? I is think it it's that a good here? quite a safe ban. Yeah. Um, I mean, Silar traditionally is not a mid player, so I'm not sure if he's well for things like Queen of Pain or, let's say, Storm. I mean, I'm pretty sure that Silar could play the Spectre as well, so uh, if they pick a hero that like CTY would actually like to play, like a Storm, for example, then. They could definitely put CTY back in the mid lane. But I mean, but this is a hard game for a Storm, isn't it? I mean, I can't see CTY picking Storm in this game. Well, Ryan every time, Nair's every time we see him play Storm, we we think it's a hard game, and then he he. Yeah, I mean, they, they've done their homework, as yeah. you can see. They ban out the DK because, as you said, that's what happened last time the Spectre was picked up. They put Silar on the mid lane on the DK and CTY on the Spectre. Yeah. 
The DK gives them that, that reliable initiation with the Blink Dagger, and they get a ton of picks off of the DK with a spec on the Ten seconds remaining. I wonder if there's any world we live in where we see like a very aggressive global Five lineup with the Zeus remaining. pick. Yeah. I mean, Zeus traditionally is quite good against Terra Blade because you can remove all Reserve of his uh, very quickly. Five but then your draft suddenly lacks a lot of like high ground ability. You can't really push that well. Uh, and it's very, very squishy, you could get ganked. I am just dreaming, but I do hope that we see it as it is. Well, Quad pick up. Now, for, uh, for VG Gaming Reborn. I mean, this is, a uh, very much a hero is looking for the players around the map whilst creating space for Terra Blade, isn't it? Yes. That looks a bit from Reborn. Sure is. They are, they're going to be looking for, for all the action. And, you know, to try and shut down and control the specs and at the same time give space to you know, the, 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 the end Terra Blade to farm up for the late game. VG Gamer, what are they going to do here? It's going to be the Invoker. Invoker. Yeah, uh, and that strikes me more as a CTY hero than Silo and Indeed. Yeah, they are going to keep yep. CTY in the mid for this one. They're, they're going to put Silo on the spec to this time. So rather the Invoker than the roles. Give them that, gives the global yep. that, that Zeus provides. Gives them the burst that Zeus provides. But obviously a much more late game oriented pick. Gives you the high ground siege with Force Spear and whatnot. Um, again, the name of the game here for late team fights is drawing out Terra Blade's BKB, drawing out the Sunder, and then killing him after that. So we're going to see some uh, fancy footwork from both teams. It's going to be long team fights. Very fun to watch. And who's, who's your favor there? Yes, it's such an important game. Who's come out with the edge, would you say? I really like Terra Blade, but I've seen yeah. Terra Blade lose to Spectre so many times. Yeah. So. Ten seconds remaining. I'm going to go with the, the Stylar Spectre here. It is a close one. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think, yeah. I mean, I think a lot's down to going to be down to the plays that Mikasa can make happen on his quad. But I, I do recall seeing, you know, Mikasa have some brilliant games on Queen of Pain. Ah, that's good. The sun's dry there. It's going to spot a TP out. So, straight away. So, the warding's going to happen. Yeah, here we have this game three now between Vichy Gaming and Vichy Gaming Reborn. There's the fight for the. The last chance, getting themselves to that grand final and get at least a world position in TI6. And of course, the loser will be going home. Let's uh, quickly do these last hits. Ooh, what do we got to go for? I'm going to go with the, uh, I think I'm going with the old invoker here. Yeah, me too. CTY, highest magic, magic damage. <sighs> I think I'm going to go with, go with invoker again. Let's put a quad for that one. You got a quad, actually, uh, yeah, okay. It's hard to see. I'll go with... <laughs> Nah, I'm, I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna go. We're gonna go CTY. Okay. Nah, what was this? Read this. Longest kill streak. Uh, that's just a, I'm gonna go with that's a wild shot. I'm gonna go with Sila. I think he'll play it safe. Tower kill before 10 minutes. Looking yes. at this line. Oh, they got a TB. They've got a TB. Yes. <laughs> Terrorblade Dota, if he's playing it right, we are gonna see a tower kill before 10 minutes. Alright, he's got the, the, the yellow Arcana on the Terrorblade. I don't even know how a Terrorblade looks without Arcana. Oh, he's very safe. nice. Seems like everybody has an arcane. Absolutely. If you don't have an arcana, you're a scrub yeah. at this level. It's a miss. This man's played That's quite a bit. Look at this. 1,500 kills. 870 towers taken down. That's a fair few uh, That's a fair few Terrorblade games. He's a god goddamn Terrorblade picker in, in pubs. Certainly seems that way. I mean, and he's great on these heroes like Terrorblade, Morphling. You know, this is his kind of jam, really. Yeah. He's, uh, he's a very good farmer. He's very good at playing a safe game as well. You so. mean end? End, yeah. Yeah, he's good playing safe, but when he knows oh, he needs to turn up gas, he, he'll go. He's he's that kind of player. Very aggressive. Very good at decision making. Uh, we are having the, the tremendous lag, or at least I am, so I'm going to get the Kree, Kree connect. Mid lane, though, looks like we have a little win against CTY. I'm going to fight at the moment. Just giving him a bit of a beat down. And FY. Well, look, of course, he just created that space for Mikasa to have a good, good start, at least for the first wave or so. On the Queen of Pain, get that CS in. Elsewhere, yeah, Silar, he has got himself a bit of a free lane, you know, with FY putting the pressure on here, the fact that Yang has headed straight to the jungle on his Batrider. So we are going to see uh, a, a, a nice laning style for Silar. He He's going to get freebies, you know, in terms of XP and in terms of gold. Mid lane again, FY trying to roll in. Not going to be able to find anything. And yeah, just uh, HYM coming over to help out CTY a little bit to try and equalize the, the flow of this lane. Of course, at the same time with this this kind of play going on, you know, RSTK straight to the jungle on the Elder Titan as well in respect. So, not only is Tyler going to have a good start top, End is also going to have a very good start bottom on his terribly. 
Is this the future of Dota 2 where we don't have an offlane anymore? <laughs> it does seem to be, you know, it's getting more popular by the minute. We just abandoned the offlane, going in jungle, hit, hit neutrals. Well, supports are coming in to attempt to harass the neutral, but a lot of attention here on the mid lane. And it feels like CTY will need the help, uh, at least to a certain degree, but for now, he's actually doing quite good in the last hit in the night department. Uh, edging on the Queen of Pain. Actually, it seems like both of them missed <laughs> quite a bit of last hits on the mid lane. Which is pretty surprising, at least for the Invoker, because he's going for the Exorb build. Yes, and yeah. Well, with the point in where it's just getting a, a level of alacrity on. Mm -hmm. So he does have that favorable CS potential against the Queen of Pain. Oh, hello. Again, FY trying for a roll, actually. Oh, that plays himself then. Runs uh -oh. away from a regen. Uh -oh. Could be in trouble. Yeah, RTK sets up the x -Dom. CTY. He's gonna roll. Coming in, oh, and no, yeah. not a chance. First blood for VG Gaming. As, uh, yeah, FY's kind of been throwing himself in the mid lane a few times, missing the rolls, and then rolling straight into three members of VG. Not the, not the play that FY was looking for. Yeah, and ROTK, you know, coming out of jungle, getting the experience for that kill is huge for yeah. him. Meanwhile, we do see the tower starting to get fresh on the bottom. Oh, mid lane is somewhere far. He might have been able to set something up good. We'll find the kill for Mikasa onto HYM. So FY immediately back, not to be put by the fact the first attempts were, were failed attempts, comes back and gets a successful hit. And allows Mikasa to pick up the kill. Bottom, the look. Look at that tier 1 tower. I mean, this is what happens if you leave a, a tier blade alone in the lanes. He's popped that metamorphosis already once. The tier 1's definitely going to go down. And they might even start pressuring the tier 2. Yep. Well, so we will be safe with the tower before 10 minutes. Three and a half minutes in, this one's going to look to, to go down by TP in. Okay. We'll come. Uh, Not sure about that one. Ah! Uh, no, is he dead? Nah, I think he's good. Yeah, there's no reflection. Tanky enough. Yeah, oh, body blocks? Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah, it was close. It was a great attempt by end. But nonetheless, you know, they do they they still get the tower hit and they do manage to get a bit of a heavy beat down on Tower CK. He's got three tangos. You know what I like to see here? End just goes in the jungle. Oh, FY's coming out of TK oh. for too long. FY balls on point. Okay, I like to see that get a kill first, and then end goes in the jungle and leave the line here to soak up some experience. Get us get some last hit. Uh, but so far he's uh Chilling in lane. How are we doing across the map here? Yang, level 5, 700 gold. Are you think gonna go straight into the blink here, or, or are we gonna say Tranquil Boot first? Well, yeah, I'll be interested to see. I mean, he's, he is saving up the gold. I guess because he's not necessarily being in the lane much. I guess because help for the juggling as well. Yeah. But he's feeling really safe enough to just stockpile it, and we'll, we'll indeed just see how far he gets with that. It seems like without the Batrider, they don't really have another way to get in there to start a fight. I mean, you could rely on up to hit a roll, but that's not well, not very reliable. So maybe the blink first makes a little bit more sense. But I'm kind of waiting here. Overall, I say uh, reborn is pretty much everything that there is. Oh, this is smart. Okay, uh, smart. Got to snap away the tap around. They what? have vision on thing. Can they punish burning McCast? They got blink. And his best. And he's not gonna go for it. Three is on the stop. Point connect, McCast is going to be fine. But another kill for Vichy Gaming in the mid lane. And just out playing FY as he you know, hanging around on the low ground. Yeah, the pot ward will see him and they're able to get for and catch up by off guard. Yeah, for the most part, apart from uh, FY dying twice, I think reborn's pretty much all things that they would like, right? They're getting a free tier terribly. Mid lane, the Mikasa is doing quite well there and trading assets here and there. Oh, we have a run. Oh, they come through here. Oh, focus okay. on this. Yeah, post bling, they might have a chance of killing with a snap tap. A couple of swipes from Silo. Can he do it? Oh, he's been hexed up. He'll still get it though. Doesn't matter. Silo gets the kill. Gets out. Nice play there from the Spectre. As soon as he hits six, just making the call to the team. You know, make that queen blink, and he's going to be there with a the follow through damage post blink. The last hit disparity looks so insane. You got 42 on the Terror Blade, 36 on the Spectre, that makes sense. And then on the mid lane, it's like 17. You can see that both <laughs> both the mid heroes just focusing on the nice so much. Bottom up, you see, ooh, Artika oh, gets a lucky, so lucky rune. rune. They don't have any detection, no sentries. All right. He runs away, says low, and goes uh, farm bottom. But look at the Tier 2 bottom. You just low. You just <laughs> towers is going down. And Amorphosis, doing the damage down here. And not really any kind of reaction from VG Gaming. We've got people hiding around the side as well if anyone wants to try and come in. 
Ah, uh, that's like Ems, yeah, he's got a TP back. Gets himself a little bit too low for his own good. Mid lane, the pressure, looking to be put on. And he Jang did end up finishing off the Trancors. So if they can make a go here. He has got the lasso. Can he close the gap? Yes, he can. Closes in. FY jumping in as well with the help of the cast. They focus down folk. But then he's dead. Trying to look for some kind of save CTY. Probably the one charge. He's managed to get a meter out. And that's going oh. to allow him to kill Macasta. Lim He'll still go down at the same time. But Vici Gaming, they might find more in return. And they do. A second kill. Double kill for this. So Vici are going in. All in in the mid lane. But they lose their own mid in response. And a support as well. The reason they went for that kill is they're saying Hunt is down, so we, we should make an aggressive play, especially under the enemy tower uh, when the Spectre can't join. But Spectre just joined in with the old-fashioned teleport scroll, and a very good job here by the Disruptor getting them that secondary kill. It seems like Yang did go back for the Tranquil Boots, and he's going to use that movement speed to swing around for ROTK. No lasso here, they're going to look for Impale, not going to hit here by DDC. And Reborn Wolf just back up. Yeah, a bit of a wishful one that just uh, not quite got the range DDC to take there. That man from that distance. So far, I really like Silas as Spectre play. Yeah, you know, he's not just sitting at home or at his own lane, rising away, but looking to be extremely active. And Spectre is one of the best heroes early on to be active. He's got the dagger max, so he could close that distance very, very fast. Yeah, and Hawks just come back off cooldown, yep. so he is going to be looking for that potential. Yep. The downside for the team is they don't really have a set for the haunt. The only time they could use the haunt is when the enemy like plays a little bit over aggressive, for example. And it's uh, I guess it's a question as well of what McCaster can get done. Like. At the moment, we seem to be very kind of static in the mid lane. Oh, actually, oh. seeing a horn go. Where are we making the go for? Is it top lane? It is. DDC being focused down by Tyler. CTY and HYM. And again, the next use of the horn there. Able to find themselves another kill. And they'll put a bit of pressure onto this tier 1 tower top. Yep. And it looks like Tyler's going to go for that Vanguard base build that we see so much. The question is whether he's going to go for a Diffusal Blade or a Radiance next. And in the game that uh, we Andy and I cast for CTY, he went for both. He went for Diffusal Blade first, and then back to the Radiance, which is generally not the order you, you end up going for most games, but the Diffusal Blade is so good at slowing down a Terror Blade, controlling you know, where he can move in the team. Alright, another tower going down to the power of the Terror Blade. And starting to make the movement around the map. I'm looking for those towers. Top lane, rolling left wide. See what they can find. Nice oh. one to onto two indeed, and that's going to allow Yang to get in with the lasso. The Glimpse will break it. CTY, just be fine for the time being with the Ghost Walk. A detection on VG. CTY will be allowed to, to walk himself away and keep himself alive. Oh, Midley, jumping in. He hasn't quite got the mana or the burst to take down ROTK. But this is, I mean, 3 to 6 at the moment. But the Terror Blade is doing very well. He's uh, quite a way ahead of the, uh, of the Spectre indeed. It's a clear 1k at this stage. So, I mean, would you say is there, is there a clear, clear winner at the moment coming out of the laning stage? Yeah, it, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, sure, you do have uh, the Invoker as well as the Spectre getting a kill or two, but in the next 10 minutes or so, it's Mr. Terrible popping his Metamorphosis, taking all your Outer Towers, and there's not much Vichy can do about it. The Outer Towers will really help Reborn, you know, for example, picking up the Blink Dagger on Batrider, um, allowing the line to work towards his Blink as well. And speaking of Blink on Batrider, he's very, very close. So I think uh, what we're waiting for right now is End's cooldown on the Metamorphosis. In about 40 seconds, he's going to run top and take a T1. Rinse and repeat. Very, very simple. Yeah, End's farm. Indeed. Moving at the exact momentum and tempo that they would have hoped for when they drafted that terribly. Top lane FY. Just about to pick himself up. Level 6 on the uh, Spirit. HYN is hiding in the trees. In case anything needs to get set up, people PM for a reaction. Uh, mid lane, it's going to be RRTK joining up for the force of burning. Yeah, FY, just to, to see if anyone reacts to this. So h round reveals himself, he could be in trouble. And Minimortis back and available in less than a few seconds. And here we have VGR. Where is the push on? And take spells another tower. h round already TP's out. They realize that they just can't really do anything to stop. A terrible push at this st a stage of the game. Well, they are rotating towards that side of the map here. They want to take a fight, perhaps uh, when Metamorphosis is running low, catch him on his way out. Smoke it. 
They're running down. They have a level 3 glimpse. Let's see if they can get a vision here. That is the real thing. Smoke is gonna break immediately and pops out. Ooh, not sure if they run a row in. That one. Yeah, just a bit of an awkward smoke from uh, the sides. No, no one able to find the jump onto either. Yang, meanwhile, was bottom lane, finding the farm. Does now have the blink dagger on the battle rider. And the reason that we don't see Vichy actually making any type of aggressive play is they can't. Apart from a random... Oh, we're gonna see a glimpse from Hey! Too right. close. <laughs> Too close to the line indeed. DDC making use of the end of that smoke. Nice little sweet play from the Lion. Catching out a Disruptor who was, he was coming in looking for a glimpse potential. Instantly gets shut down. You know, despite the fact that Reborn has a pretty strong hyper carry in the form of Terrorblade, they're the one that's making the aggressive play. They understand that once Invoker gets his high its BOT, I get them Scepter running, that's where Vici really hits their stride. They want to get as many objectives as they can before that happens. Spectre does have that Vanguard finish, trying to run away here from the Batrider. And again, Vici Reborn, the only thing they're limited by is Metamorphosis this cooldown. Again, I imagine End will soon run down the mid lane, pick up the Yasha, and uh, either take down Roshan or maybe for a tier 2, punch it a little bit. Maybe this stage is what we got. Uh, could, could they go for for the Roshan, yeah? Or is it still too risky against Vichy? It is annoying to have to, to dance around the spirit, <laughs> ROTK. Um, I think the, the safer play is probably tier 2 tower, but. It seems like VTR is looking to farm a little bit as well. Let's see what they can go by here. Vichy grouping up behind the tier one. Oh, they're gonna fight. Here comes the five man smoke. They do, yeah, the smoke on DDC. Here we have it. The ideal target to jump on is gonna be CTY's invoker, for sure. Uh, Burning obviously will have swap reserved to put that, as well as HYM's a glimpse. I don't think they'll find anybody. They might just actually go for the tier 2 now. Uh, the wave is relatively pushed. But they really want to catch somebody on the way out. And they might just get CC1. Ooh. Ooh. Right on the tip there. The smoke not dispelling. So they're, they're going to get the GPs. They're back off EGR. Not finding anything. But I, I guess this is not, you know, this is bad. So, yeah, not finding anything with the smoke. Because all in all, it is, as we said with the draft, just creating space for the terror blade, making it, making it sure the the, the the map is safe enough uh, and to go out and find his farm. Yeah, normally that's the case, but I think terror blade was, he joined he joined the the smoke game. He wanted to find. Some I guess yeah, they want to use it for the metamorphosis for it to get kills. Correct. Yeah. So, I mean. Anytime they're not finding bolts where the Midas is taking in for the Invoker, he's got his drums picked up as well now. Sonic Wick gonna jump down to the top lane and Mikasa is well a little bit out of say out of position a bit. Here comes FY in the middle of everybody. He goes on Silar, drops a one-man ultimate. Kick's gonna hit here on Silar, but where's backup? I mean he's doing an else, he can't do this on his own. I mean, he's doing his best with all these stones oh. dropping down. Okay, only finds one. That should have been a two-man pale DDD. Oh, I'm gonna fold us this time and then ties it. Ends up doing a hell of a damage. Yang does grab out TTY from the side. They'll take down in both of They have lost Lion, though. Two... Two VG. Burning, dropping pretty low thanks to the, the fire here. Silent does still have a haunt, but VGR still looking in pretty good shape. So even though that wasn't a good victory here for VGR, they got what they wanted, which is a terrible blade next to a tower. Like, they just want to have that end gold. And now he's just punching at the tower. They traded Queen of Pain and a Lion for Invoker, but a lot of tower damage. Uh, meanwhile, as well. Terrorblade picking up an Ogre Claw after that Yasha. I'm... SMY or No, 99% sure this is a BKB. Yeah. Do you fit what would you BKB against what the Invoker lineup is, is an absolute necessity. Yeah, necessity. the Elder Titan as well. And the Elder, yeah. And the, uh, the Storm from uh, Disruptor. There's just a lot of good things that he needs BKB against. Oh, what's up with Mikasa? He's saving up the gold. What's he looking for? You know, I, for, for a long while, I thought he was looking to, to get the Veil. Yeah. But he's still got the catch on top of that. Maybe he's also uh, thinking about what, what to get. Because normally most of Queen of... Uh, Does he need a BKB early on, yeah? 
Or is that just not? That's gonna stunt his growth. Yeah, that would really stunt his uh, yeah. item progression. Because all of uh, Queen's normal items, got like Orchid, for example, you could buy it by now. At least parts of it. Veil, he could buy it. Really, I have no idea. No, we'll see. See what he does spend it, I'm sure. It's gotta be soon, because he just said, saving up this amount of money at this stage of the game. And at a part as well, with VGR happy and looking for the fights, they need that money invested in useful items. That is for sure. Salar? Oh, he's got that one Keiko, so... I still think that the Fusal Blades, the build here, you want something that allows your team to actually fight. And uh, get those gank running. But they are being patient. Yeah, Reborn's gonna be the team that's throwing the punches, and uh, they're gonna perhaps look for yet another smoke play. You know, so far the Yang Fat Rider hasn't been able to connect too much. He's been in the fights. But, uh, you know, you have you have Swap to deal with, you have the Glimpse to deal with, and he's really unable to connect. And this game, kind of as, uh, as with a lot of games here, the Charger Street is kind of taking this slower pace at this stage. But both teams, they're feeling comfortable with just trying to get the farm on their course. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, there's a huge difference still between N's TB and Silas. Spectre. Sure. The 3k difference at the moment at 18 minutes in. Obviously a lot of this down to the fact that they've taken a lot of towers of each other, but at the same time, it's just a matter in itself. I mean, if we look at the CS still, is there... Yeah, 149 CS against the 92. The end's just been so much more efficient with his farming. And Terrible is just a hero that farms faster. Yeah. With Illusion spawn, he could jungle much more effectively. He could use, for example, right now, just pushing the mid lane with that Illusion. Uh, Yang leading the smoke charge. Does have the... Does that the blink and uh, unable again? We're really unable to connect with the with the gank, but I think we're, they're okay with this. They're gonna just push bottom lane, force Vici to come to them, and or maybe he doesn't want to push until he does have that BKB farmed up. You can see that he's quite close to it. Nope, just kidding. Gonna pop that metamorphosis and uh, let's punch some towers. Yep, more money to pocket event. And closer to the tier. At the same time, VG will find a tower in return, but it's just a tier one. The gold just continues to rack up on the Spectre, which uh, kind of begs the question at this point, do you think Silar is just thinking about going for the straight Vanguard into Radiance? It does seem like it. Yeah. The Radiance is going to give a little bit of annoyance to the Queen of Pain, the Batrider, as well as the uh, the Earth Spirit, but oh, bottom lane looks like we have a row in here. Oh, is it going to connect? As they will back up and I'm looking at my cast as well. He had oh indeed, yeah. They're looking for FY, but he's gonna TP out and he's gonna make it. No, he's not, sorry, JK, the glimpse is there. HYM with the control, they will find a kill with that one. Mikasa gets himself out and yeah, do you look at Mikasa? It does look like he he feels pressured that he has to get the BKB on the clock. I think seeing the BKB on the Queen of Pain as well as the BKB on Turp Blade. Yeah. Reborn's looking at the game in the next ten minutes. Because I imagine this big death wall push coming down the mid lane, and there's very little Vichy can do about it. They need to thaw the KB somehow. Now we enter into a sub game where one team delays activating their BKB as long as they can. And the other game, the other team really have to weigh out these BKB before they actually yeah. take a fight. And I, I guess it's just net style as well. He's not picked anything up going, alright, this guy wants to go for a Vanguard Radiance game. As you said, if you don't, the way you deal with that, you shut the game down early. Exactly. And yeah, BKB now complete on Macassar as well. So they've got the dual BKBs up on both cores. That's I personally favored the diffuser on the Spectre because you expect the fight be brought to you much earlier. Than you want to fight what before before the BKB is coming, ideally. Or you want to have the ability to fight. I think the better way. You probably still don't want to fight. Because your is just much stronger than you are. Uh, but when the fight, or when the push comes to shove, you know, when the push comes, you, you need to be attack. able to fight. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Well, he, he's got the Borella now. Probably will pick that up soon. But end. Is uh, well, he's got meta in, in 10 seconds, and that tier 2 is dropping fast. Should they just chill for a tier 3 now, or, or is Roshan? I mean, they have a lot of a gun, as you said. Yeah, uh, 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 DDC. They're looking Finger. for it. And blink, red. Oh, oh, can they get up the hex? These out. Yep. I mean, they will ideally just walk up to high ground and push, but the waves are being controlled very well by Vichy Gaming. I think we are going to just settle for a tier 2 push here. If they get a pick here against CTY, this could just be a full lane of rack. Oh, CTY damn. walks forward, 
Where's the bat right there? Huge, there it is. Yang grabs CTY, drags him back, and pulling into it with a metamorphosis. The control from VGR. Much too much for this Invoker to deal with, and he's down for 50 seconds. Did start to purchase into his Aghanim Scepter, so to pick up the items rather than have money for buyback. But uh, we can see a pretty powerful push coming in from VGR now, with the metamorphosis still up, and BKB's at the already. And in fact, oh, I like forcing, burning out of the base. Oh. Okay, not quite enough. The stomp will miss. Fingers now down. Limps back. Can they actually kill Yang with a magic missile? They can certainly give it a good shot. Static Storm Pop haunts as well. They'll take down one. DDC trying to get rid of the illusions. They've finished off the tier two as well, VGR. They've got a bat rider for this push in. And let's start VGR. Don't want to stick around. They realize that they're a man down for 40. VG gaming themselves. They're going to have the invoker back in 10. Very aggressive play from Yang, uh, despite not having his lasso. I think with, with Yang dying, they really just had to stop the push. I guess Metamorphosis was ending relatively soon anyways. Uh, but another round of item now gets added to Reborn. The Manta style finish here on end. Queen of Pain after the BKB picks up a plate mail looking to pick either, either AC or Shivas. I mean, if you look at the item progression of each, you may be looking at, you know, maybe a Radiance on Silar, but that's pretty much it. Uh, still a bit away, way away from the uh, acronym set. Just over halfway through. Yeah. So it's ne more time needed in regards to that. Yeah, as you said, the radiance is maybe going to be the one big time power spike to have at this earlier stage of the game, but still, just a couple hundred gold before Silent's so going to be able to pick that one up. And at the same time, in response, you know, as you said, there's BKBs out and himself, Manta Stalden on top of the BKB and the Dragon Lance. He's in a very, very good position for pushing and for fighting 23 minutes into the game on the telly. Yeah. Let, be, let it be known that if Reborn doesn't end the game, though, in the next 15, 20 minutes, that's where the, the Radiance will kind of take over from Spectre. But I, I think we're still very far from that. And Reborn is very likely to end the game right about now. Here comes a group up here from uh, from Reborn. How do you deal with the the Dragon Lance? No. How do you deal with the Metamorphosis push? Let's well, see what the answer is going to be. And Metamorphosis just came back off cool now. Top lane is getting pushed in by Burning. He's trying to find the money for that Ether Lens. So they might have to send someone back from Reborn to, to deal with that. And indeed, yeah. Mikasa is coming around the lane. You know, a very common theme that we see in these Chinese games is that the aggressive team is almost being too safe with their push. Because the, the way I see it is, can they just rock down the mid lane right now? Who cares about the great wave of top being pushed in? It's not even next to the two tower. No, no a, and, and one thing as well, you know, you look at FY as well, realizing that they want to go for the push. He's, he's building the mech, and this isn't something that we see all the time on a on a screen. They don't normally are prioritizing like blink daggers, four stars, but I guess yeah, as you said, they just want everything to add to this push at this stage of the game. I don't know. This is looking like uh, the good old one more item syndrome. It's like FY said, okay, let me finish mech. And then Queen of Pain says, I'm close to Shiva's. Yes, so you, you kind of... They need to make it go. Yeah, but who cares about items? Uh, I think the mech is a worthy weight to, to pick up, because it's you know, very close to being finished. But apart from that, it's go time. Any second that Spectre gets to a kind of free farm... Do not talk. <laughs> <laughs> Alright! The Chinese Ammon don't fuck around. Yeah, they ain't messing. Do not talk. Or your family will disappear overnight. Is that? Down down the line. Yeah. Ah. Well, looks like Bat has managed to reconnect. Hopefully, we'll be able to get on. Of course, the Chinese are playing on land, so maybe issues. Uh, Bat, is it, he's going for the Yule Scepter as well in this game. Just they've got a bit more control. A bit more setup. You know, overall, I feel like the we haven't had too many problems on land. We haven't to be, but we've had a couple of DCs and a few short pauses, but nothing major. Yeah. Nothing major. Yeah, we have it. I think the, the most major thing is getting game started on time, but, you know, it's online, so... Yeah, and even that, that's not been too bad. Like, we haven't had any massive hour-long delays. Right. So we have been lucky with that. Uh, there's just no way for Mikas to push this one on top. I mean, they ideally do want to have the court with them before they look to take a fight. Maybe if Yan can get a pick, they'll go anyway, yeah. Burning? Could be a freebie. Jumps in onto Burning. No one here to save him. It's a free pick there. Well, if we're looking for a person to, to push, a moment to push, it'll be now, right? No, Mikasa blinks bottom. He wants to get this way. Push this far. 
Yeah, Mikasa, yeah, she said, you said the moment. He's the man had back. He is building AC. So again, are they really waiting for, for the AC? I, I mean, I guess they, they, she said it's just one more item. They, they just want everything that they can to make this push as strong as, uh, as possible at this point. But as you pick up that one more item, I feel like the invoker item pickup is perhaps more impactful. Yeah, Ag's done. So the high ground defense is going to be pretty formidable for Avicii Gaming. I mean, we all understand where VTR is coming from, you know. Picking up AC is obviously great for the push, but perhaps if they push about two minutes ago, Invoker would not have uh, the Aghanims. Ah, he's still like, he's still like, what, 2k short, my Yeah, ROTK. Maybe they're waving for a couple picks. This could be pretty good here. Blink and Pale Heart thing. Well, pretty dead. Are they going to for more? Morphosis has been completed. Oh, so they, they do want to find more with the Metamorphosis issues. Yeah. They might get HYM. Blimps back. Yeah, Yang's, uh, Yang's on him. Okay. We'll find a second kill with this. And that's exactly what they needed to. Double kill for and this man. Immaculate play continuing to, to happen this game. 5-0-1. Oh, you see, Immaculate play. He, he's pressing on Metamorphosis. I mean, it's true. It's a terrible. <laughs> it's a terrible. But we'll give him credit. Yeah, okay. But it, indeed, it's, it's the path of terribly. But it's really yeah, being felt. There we go. The moment that at least I've been waiting for. Let's see what they can do to solve this. Push coming in, Macasta. He's still messing around behind. He's, he's, he wants to finish that AC. He really, really doesn't. He's about to go away from it. And so they will, they'll chicken out. They'll back off. They'll clear out the side lanes. Bottom lanes just needs to be cleared out as well. Yeah, meta was ending, so that was a good time to retreat. Yeah. retreat. So next metamorphosis, they will have the AC, yep. and they will be ready to, to maybe go for the high ground. Well, the question is, will end waiver as I have Scotty? <laughs> Are we going to wait for one more item? I mean, oh, wow. There's a smoke up for VG. Uh, they yet to really get to use this race uh, Spectre as well. Yep. There's not been a horn, there's been a big fight where they've never seen anything with it. They've been holding on to that. It's a, you should just don't have the lockdown to take advantage of a haunt. Like, you don't have a dream of it. You don't have a, a minus repeated lockdown enough. But we are going to see the swap. That's a quick pick. So, BG Rick, uh, just about maybe 60 seconds. Yeah. Yeah, shutting down the aspect. And uh, if they can get Roche as well, this will oh. be huge. But it's going to be spotted out by the illusion. Can they contest this without the Earth Spirit? I don't think they'd like to. Okay. Probably the bat right there. Is he finishing his four staff? It's coming on the courier right now. No, that's a gem coming on the courier. He's already got the four staff. Here we go. They need to contest pretty fast. Uh, it's falling quickly. I don't think. Are they able to go? Here we have it. Looking for the jump in on the sidelines. Mikasa trying to take down Burning. Roshan still falling quickly. Can they take it the jump in? No, it's going to be picked up by Spectre, but they've lost CDY. They'll take down Silo once. They take him down again. EG still playing around. HYM has a static storm available. They've got vision on him. Bit of Chinese lag through. And the man of is coming. Is the heroes of EG. Forcing them back up onto the high ground. Keeping themselves safe. Well, FY running around there. Bit of a, a crazy boulder rolling. Uh -oh. HYM good in the kick again, keeping him alive, but ROTK's down. BGL find themselves another kill. Does anything more. Glint's back onto Yang. HYM trying to save himself. As he pops smoke there to try extra space between him and the team, but they've already dispelled it. And BGR will close down. And they will find themselves another three deaths on VG Gaming. And BGR take the fight. They don't get the Roche. But they do also manage to take the Aegis out of the Spectre's hands. Yeah, and that's kind of the big, big win. Silar does have yeah. 2.8k. You know, he's saving for the buyback. I mean, he might just need to pick out an item. If he has to buy back in this situation, the game might be, uh, well, out of hand. But Invoker does respawn. He actually ports top. This is some, like, you see a big uh, wave pushing in, but he's going to go for the Mikasa kill. No, he's just farming. No, he's going to hand back, yeah. Okay. And Mikasa, do you want to the man? That's, there we have it. AC is going to be done. Yep. Curry just going over to pick up the 2k hyperstone. And then we've got one minute. Then you've got the metamorphosis back and available. And also, BGR will oh, they'll try for the push. They got I have Scotty relatively soon as well. They do, in fact, yeah. He's just a bunch of away from picking up the bot there. The point boost ultimate orb and orb of venom. Well. The one thing that Vici does have going for them is they got the high ground. You know, push them high ground against Elder Titan, against a stack storm. Against their wizard man invoker is quite difficult. So, yeah, there we have it. That's the money for the Scotty as well. So, this really could be go time. 
for VGR. Haunt. It's gonna be back up in 20, so they will have it for the fence. I don't think it's too crazy to imagine Vici holding one or two push. Yeah. And just start turning this game. I felt like this game... I mean, if you look at the net worth, it's still going up, up, up for, for VGR. But these are some very strong and scary late game here. I mean, a Spectre, an Invoker. I don't feel comfortable going past 45 minutes versus these heroes. Let's see other players. Silo. Yeah, shit. Looking for the Manta. And you have a big item pickups. Yeah. See if he wants up the end. He is continues to wreck up the gold. He's, he's been the house farm at the moment for the side of Fiji Gaming. 2.8k. We own him. Yeah. The downside for the, the Vici he heroes, they're, they constantly have to save about 1 or 2k just for a buyback. So there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of gold that they can't really spend. Let's see what happens there. Maybe wondering if he can catch out Elder Titan, uh, Elder Zen as he comes out. That's not going to be the case, at the least. He just cut the creep away, trying to slow down that, that push out that VG have got going on the top lane. VGR, now starting to rally the troops towards the middle. McCaster though, once again, not with the team, just trying to hold back this split push from CTY. Maybe it's time for Mikasa to invest into a bridge of travel. Uh, if he's going to continue to play this particular style, a BOT will allow him to deal with the pressure and join his team within a moment's notice. Uh, CTY's got a BKB as well now, it's invoker. And this is, uh, I guess this is this is really nice for him because yeah, he can allow him to drop his combo and, and not worry too much about VGR. To stable unless they do get lasso onto him. Yeah. yeah. The, the same times we've seen a uh, beach gamer, they've got ways to deal with that. They've got glimpse. They've also got the swap. Yep. I think it's being the bigger one here. Oh, blink impale from DDC misses. He impales or hexes right afterwards. That's a pretty key misplay. Here we go. The swap there. He's impulse the BKB. Starts to turn towards burning. Burning. But to get himself up to the high ground, he's gonna Ooh, live. Ooh, that's huge. They got BKB and metamorphosis out of end. They get the clap on. But this is one of the stars, the static storm, and the pop, the other side holds Rift through, bringing down Lion, they'll turn towards Scylar, jump forward from the Kassa, low on the mana, the BKBs are out, but CGY is not going to be enough to keep him alive, they found the kill, onto Invoker, he's out for a minute, went all in on the BKB purchase, so CTY, goodbye, it will be back for defense. Uh -oh. Better oh. oh. ending really soon, in spite of the CTY, they back off, what's happening to VGR? They play super safely. If you get 40 seconds on an invoker kill and you don't push, what exactly are you hitting for? Haunt us down. Every ultimate is down. Are they waiting for another item? I am befuzzled. I am confused. I guess we must. I mean, they got pretty much all one, right? And this being close to being. As strong as he can be, I guess. I guess he could still get like a a butterfly, but I don't know, Owen. These Chinese Dota, I don't know. I mean, it's such a as we said, such an important game. You, you can't afford any chance of messing up. I think they're messing up by oh, being you think, scared. Yeah. I think they have already messed up by being scared. They still do have the lead. They still do have such oh, a for sure, favorable yeah. push, but oh, they're gonna get said, the pick off as well. Yeah, we have. Here it was from out, but doesn't us Yang gets the jump and catch the burns. No one will be there to swap out the swapper. Burning taken down. Damn, that's and metamorphosis up in 20 seconds. So again, this this little window where there's a man down. Yeah, will that metamorphosis available for the push? Illusions taken out quick by DC with a hex and the mana drain. Against player called maybe Aegis at this point. I mean, are they were the Aegis? Minus four. Or will they go? And what's the plan? They want to go. This is out. There we go. Here we go. Here we have it. Just what? kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they saw the clap being used. Oh, a lot of damage on the tower. DMP tornado being dropped. Ooh, and he's uh, just got to hold on to his BKB charge for now. 
Walking out again, Yule's on to him. They're doing their best to this with this split. Oh, indeed. They're... No, no. BKB being forced out. Yeah. These are very key BKB usage. Uh, once it's down to, to five seconds, I think that's where Gucci will start these fights. Now, at least they tier three, so. The push is a slow siege, but it is a successful one. No casualties on the side of PG game. Shiva's guard with the next pickup from Mikasa. Four star being worked on by DDC. Still a lot of money being stockpiled up by end. Yet to invest in anything. Uh, Spirit FY is he's going to be working on pipe. And Yang himself also map feels the need for a BK this game. But VG Gaming, they're going to come in with a push themselves now at this point. They feel like they've got a bit of momentum under their arms. Yeah, no matter what this is. Yeah, 60 seconds. Sunny is a good time to push, same time Mikasa still continuing with the split push down the bottom lane. We'll see if BGR want to fight without Metamorphosis. If they see that they feel that they've got an opening. They're coming in with the illusions on the sidelines. FY is there. Eyeing it up. But it looks like they're fine with just missing the tier one. Allowing Mikasa push this lane out. And uh, this camp he will have for the mix up. And uh, of course just getting closer and closer to the Shiva's gun. With that, maybe then. <laughs> they'll, they'll pull the, the potential to go back. They've got a lot on TB now. Well. Okay. I mean, everything is coming together for VGR. I guess they're just building this indestructible monster. And eventually, he will just walk down the base. We'll see. We'll see. It's going to be possible. Heart makes him very, very beefy, but I still somehow feel like VG can dance around him once the VKB is down. Uh, however, with Sunder, maybe not. Maybe I'm the one that's losing patience, but uh, Reborn feels like they're in perfect control of the game, and they are. Yeah, they, they're, not, they're exciting patience themselves. Yeah. Throughout throughout 36 minutes of gameplay, they're the one that's calling the shot in terms of when we're going to fight our fight. So if they feel like high ground is not the place to fight, then you know they must be correct. However, we are seeing you know a little bit more initiation power coming from CTY. As he does pick up the blink. And with that power of initiation, looks like C uh, FY is going to get swapped, and we'll be dead. And yeah, okay, from him. Top lane as well. Ooh, cast it. It will get out. Only just in Haunt was used for that one. So, uh, actually, some few spam pings out there from, uh, from Ooh, the They're pinging out the racks. Yeah. No Haunt. No Haunt. Time to push. The red for three. So they get Ooh, done here. They don't yeah. have the uh, spirit for this stuff. Looking for a hero pick here. Glyph. And he's gonna get broken. Oh, but DDC, he's able to get himself actually in. Drops the sentry. Metamorphosis comes down. A few pops from end. The takedown disruptor. All right. Now, moving forward, they'll start to look for a bit of damage onto the rack. Silo, no horn still. Let's see what they can do to solve this. Echo's coming through DDC. And look for the setup. Throwing down the combo on time, but M pops the BKB. They're pulling it all. They're taking him. The take it out putting on the bench. And now the opening there for the racks. Fortification will come through. VGR backing up, but they're more than ready to go back in. Silo caught out of the stun. The storm holding back VGR, but the follow through hex. Tony Wayne's there as well then. Coming in perspective. Can they kill him? No. Mantis out. Silo backs off. The racks are still. Nobody's helping help the racks. They're all kind of regenerating in the Falcon RTK, trying his best. The clap is going to come through and end. Stunned up for a while, the heart regen will take him through CTY, popping a cold snap here. Oh, the wall! A little bit off here of Mug, they will lose the Mater Rex for sure. Well, I say that though, it's gonna be and running away. It's gonna down to about half HP, Thunder's down, he doesn't have BKB. DDC turning around with the Hex of the Stuns, keeping VG back. This is big. Oh, oh, DDC torn out of If we come to the she's going for Okasa, jumping in with a scream. Takes down Solar, the found one magnetized. On take where and they're trying to go for more at the same time. Okasa cleaning out as a double kill on the bottom, and they'll find the mid rats. VGR able to finally break the base here in the middle, and also finding the superior team fight, forcing CTY to buy back as well. They've just got to regain their strength and go for another push down another lane. And as we're seeing, it's, it seems very hard for VG Gaming to stop this. The heart was such a smart pur purchase on, on Terra Blade. I mean, the Metamorphosis, even though it ran out, it was able to just hang back, regen up, and then, you know, just sending a, one illusion right after another, just yeah. going, keep going on that melee really race. It really has been working out at this point. And oh, oh. Kick oh. back. RTK kicked in the Gulags. 
Well, Tornado's gonna find RTK, needs to use that clap. He gets rolled on and oh, the clap's not gonna come out. And more, more, more for Reborn. Burning down as well as he takes a finger to the face. Yang's really been tying the game together for Reborn. Just finding nice. multiple picks and they're gonna pop the meta here in one second. Here we go, we get so many illusions in the base. That's gonna force out buyback from RTK, but I don't think it's looking good here as Reborn threatening to force a GG call and this is Scythe of Game 3. Yeah, this is looking bad for VG. Silo control, the Metamorphosis is out, the Lasso controlling CTY. Silo, he is indeed gonna fall. They do have five back respect, they've got to do something miraculous here. They're coming in with the Horn, they need a huge turnaround, looking towards them. He's falling relatively low, can they finish him off? Oh, oh no, no, he doesn't get it okay. off! They're holding! BGR, and Kassia blinks away, HYM, taking it all through the flame, swap, glimpse, everything onto Mikasa, they'll bring it back, but Mikasa turns, takes down this Disruptor, will play with his life. So they do manage to defend, well, at least, at least find kills, they did still lose the melee racks down bottom. Once a Rex, that's all they got left here. Uh, of course, Siler bought back this fight, CTY bought back last fight, so even though they're getting kills, they're holding, they're not getting too much gold from these fights. It's, yeah, they're, they're still losing base. And indeed, the gold swing is, is absolutely massive. Over 20k, closing in onto 25. I just don't see a way for Silo to farm enough gold to get a, a relevant item for the next fight. So it's going to be in a similar situation, except that the Terra Blade has a butterfly on top of what he currently has. Yeah, the Kono MKB will be coming down anytime soon for, for any of the heroes over on the side of, of Hichi Gaming, so... Yeah, this Terra Blade is getting scarier and scarier. 11 one eleven. that was his first death there. Okay, they'll get Aegis. This could be pretty big for the team if they could have Silar pick it up. CTY needs to come I mean, can in. can they get it in time? Well, they will try. Uh, People F1. are coming over. Reborn. They're looking to check it out. Earth Spirit in the neighborhood. But then moving in, uh, the BG lose a fight here, this could be game ending, CTY caught up on Boulder Smash, they know that they're there, DDC jumps in with the stern onto burning, they follow through silence, onto the Vengeful Spirit, they can't use shot to Roche, and he's oh. moving in with a reflection, they've got to run BG, they'll focus on CTY, pops the BKB, Metamorphs is out from end, pulling into the all, there's a tornado holds them back, oh, he's again looking for the stop, can't get it off the finger, finishes him off! And BG, they need to run, they need to hide. Burning pops the Ghost Sept at the same time. Yang trying to find the Spectre, but the Horn comes through. Static Storm on Death Fly, they'll turn, look to burst down the Earth Spirit, they'll find it. DDC incredibly low as well, forcing himself away, he's gonna live. Now it's the Kata, Sonic Wave, on the CTY reflection again. They'll find themselves three more, four dead at the moment. Silar, the last one left alive, as he's forced to run himself back to base. At least what's left of it here for BG. As VGR, potentially on the edge, are securing themselves to spot in at least a wild card. Silo oh, trying to turn a fight, no. but the Lasso's there, and ripping into the Spectre. It's a team wipe, and VGR, they're onto the tier fours, they're onto the base, and they're onto the grand finals. VG Gaming taken down by their, the, the, the child side, the, the reborn of VG. Oh. It's too strong for them, <laughs> it's too strong. Oh man. Many would argue that Reborn was the stronger team. Today yeah. they prove it. They pushed. And now they will move on to the grand final of the Chinese bracket, facing up against E Home. E Home. Oh man, that's gonna be a tough one. That is gonna be a tough one. VG Reborn, E Home, best of five grand finals here in China. I think we're we're gonna see a, a very, very exciting finish and culmination of this this region. But uh VG Gaming, of course, commiserations to them are a very star studded lineup, but unfortunately.